Well, this lineup is is incredible, and and usually when you're first in a lot, uh, that means you're you're really good. And, and you see, the beauty of them is, is they hit with tremendous power. They get on base and they don't strike out. The second in the league in contact percentage. That's a pretty tough thing to beat if you're the Astros this year. And you know, Don Trell, I'm, I mean, how do you pitch to these guys? They've won nine of ten right now. Everybody slugs. Everybody walks. They don't strike out. How do you pitch to them? Well, first, a lot of prayer before I go out <laughs> there and warm up. But the, the the first thing I want to establish is being aggressive with the fastball down in the zone. They want to make contact early in the count, and they want to use launch angle to get the ball in the air. So I want to throw sinkers to get those guys to hit the ball hard on the ground early in the count. It saves my pitch count. Hopefully I can get some early outs, and hopefully I can sh not show my slider or my breaking ball the first time around in the lineup uh, minimally. So that's the key. Be aggressive, stay down, move their feet, make them uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a ball in because the way they're swinging the bat, they feel comfortable, they feel aggressive. And EK will tell you, when mm -hmm. you don't fear that guy on the mound, you take some hacks out there, and that's what you're seeing from this lineup today. You're the best in the league against fastballs and breaking balls. That's, uh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty yeah. good combination. <laughs> uh, maybe not change us, but you get the idea. But, you know, the beauty of it is we're, you kind of touched out on the highlight. We're going through and, you know, the usual guys, even though Altuve's hurt, you know, mm -hmm. Springer and Bregman are those guys. But it really is their overall depth, which kind of sneaks up on you, isn't it? Well, it, it's like, you know, Don Trell talked about, that the lineup is so deep, right? And, and there's not places that you can pick and say, I got to get there because that's an out. And some of the acquisitions they made over this offseason, it really paid off. I mean, one of the, the quiet ones, Robinson Chirinos, they got him. He was a, a free agent from Texas. And you don't think of him... Is a, is a hitter, but he's hitting all kinds, slugging great, hit another home run six, and then this guy, Brantley. I think him leaving the Indians and coming to the Astros, I mean, it changed the Indians' perception and what they're going to be this year, right. and it's just really solidified this Houston lineup. I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, with Marwin Gonzalez, him leaving, and they, you know, they think, oh, there's going to be a hole there. Brantley coming over has been great. I mean, 10 home runs coming into tonight. The guy is a flat-out hitter, works at his craft, and he, he, he's a little different. I mean, and, and then, of course, he's coming from the left side, which, you know, when you've got Bregman, you've got Springer, you've got Altuve, you've got, who else do we have? we got Correa. Yeah. I mean, it's just guy after, and then now he's that left-handed bat. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's all, it's funny because you think about it, you know, Gonzalez was a great player for them. Uh, didn't have the offensive year last year. But I'm just thinking we'll get to the Indians later in the show. But they, they lost Brantley and Encarnacion off the top of your head, right? That's I mean, right. a lot of teeth right. to that line. Right. A lot of production. Right. How do you replace right that? The Astros right now, they've won 9 of 10. They are rock and roll. They are a tough out for anybody. They win again tonight.